Good afternoon and welcome to the New York Times. Welcome back to Crosswords Live. It's Thursday, so there's trickery afoot, and I'm here with Assistant Puzzles Editor Sam Izerski. Welcome back, Sam. I'm back. Looking forward to solving today's puzzle. Uh, well, we have one by Timothy Pollan today, and uh, Timothy has created quite a few Thursday puzzles for us, hasn't he? So this is Timothy Pollan's 45th puzzle for the Times, and yet 20 of them have been Thursdays. That's, that's almost half, and that is a really, really tricky thing to do. We have um, a lot of stuff going on in this puzzle, and uh, Tim is probably one of the better constructors at doing things like this. I'm not going to let it go just yet, but I am going to get started. Now, I... I had a tough time finding a place to start in this puzzle because we didn't have a lot of obvious fill in the blanks. Where did you start, Sam? So I started, I thought, baked pasta dish at one down. Mm -hmm. It had to be ziti, right? That's the not, only four-letter one that I know. Not lasagna? Unless it's a rebus puzzle. Funny you should say that, <laughs> Sam. Funny you should say that. But you know what? Let's let's not go there just yet. The let's other put thing in is that with the Z in Zidi, you can use that to guess Zeta in the crossing one across, which oh, is absolutely. the only Greek letter I can think of right. beginning with Z. Robert Laferia guessed uh, Beta, which is a very, very close guess. Thank you for that. Uh, today, however, because we have Zidi at one down, yummy, we have Zeta. At one across. Maisha Fleming Miles and Robin L. McGee did indeed figure that one out. So okay. they're following my line of logic. I'm Excellent. okay with that. And, you know, it's always good to have logic. Same with Katie Speck, or hi. Kate Speck, excuse me. Jillian Kirby says hi to us. Hi, everybody. Uh, Pedro Lopez says 35 is Louis. So let's jump down Luis. here. Luis. Luis. Argentine author Jorge Luis Borges, and I hope I pronounced that correctly. That sounds good to me. That's going to be a That's, gimme for some. Yep. Excellent absolutely. Job. Nicely done. A lot of people are agreeing on Zeta. Jillian Kirby wonders if two down is econ. Let's we do have the E, so that looks good. Taxing subject briefly. <laughs> I like that clue. Very good, Jillian. Now, you know, when people use the word taxing, they sometimes think of it as something that's tiring or exhausting. But a taxing subject is not one that t tires you out, especially because we have this question mark here at the end. And that means that it there's wordplay going on here. If you it, One subject you can study that does have to do with taxes is indeed econ, so thank you for that. I see Mo Sway Mayint, forgive me if I mispronounce your name, says that five down is sift. Sift, let's see, strain, yes, to strain something is to sift. Now, Mark Miller has said something uh, very, very interesting. He likes he says, the idea, but, but this is chaos. chaos. Welcome to the party, Mark. It's we, chaos for us too, but we're going we're to party through this thing. You st sit down and stay with us. You can sit right next to us. We're going to crush this puzzle today. We like that you ended that statement with a smiley face because yes. that's how we feel too. Right. Chaos absolutely. on Thursdays always brings us a, brings a smile on our face. Ah. I see Nikki Shetty actually got one of my personal gimmies at 30 across. Well, can I just interrupt oh, I'm here? Sorry. That's yeah. okay. Mayari Guzman corrected me. It's pronounced Borges. So thank you for that, Mayari. Okay. There okay. we go. And what, Forgive I'm sorry, us. what were you saying? I was saying that Nikki Shetty believes that 30 Across is ACDC, ah, banned with go. the aptly titled album Powerage. Sounds good to me. I'm That's gonna, a gimme. Uh, they also had an aptly titled album High Voltage. Awesome. Okay. Did they have cutesy names for all their albums or... <laughs> I don't think just so. These two? Okay. <laughs> all right. So Connie Dark Corey says 21 Across is Tara. Let's take a look at that. This must be a veteran uh, Thursday solver seeing you know right through. Absolutely. We're talking Gone with the Wind here. The fictional home of Scarlett O'Hara was indeed Tara, and they lived in Georgia. I like how they run. <laughs> yes. Uh, Dama de la Luz says hello from Chile. Hello, Dama. Welcome back, Denise Nelson. Uh, she agrees that 21 Across is Tara. Jackie Holland and Christina Nadia say that 17 Across is Tori. This wow, was a tough that, clue for that me. that was very tough. I like that. Not, I actually got it from the crossings. I guess you have to interpret conservative as a noun, or can Tori be an adjective as well? well I'm not really I sure. Don't know. Like a Tory supporter? Uh, let's see. What else have we got? Mao Zedong or Mahatma Gandhi? I don't know about this one. I know what the answer is. I'm not quite sure I would consider Mao one of these. Mahatma Gandhi, maybe. Let's see if anybody else knows. Mary Kay Channel, on the other hand, believes that 44 crosses 
iris. Iris. Let's take a look. It's ah, the pupil surrounding. Exactly. There and you your go. eye. Your iris is the thing that surrounds Colored the Colored part of the eye. Good. Good job. Um, let's see. Joanna Jacques Robinson says twenty nine down is Europe. Let's take a look at that. Blue area on a risk board. Absolutely. Some somebody's a good uh, board game player. Europe is indeed the answer. Humble brag. That was my clue. I okay. love risk. <laughs> like that. Margie Gieb is asking, what's happening? Well, Margie, we're happy that you're joining us today. Right now, a bunch of us from all over the world are collaborating on the Thursday New York Times crossword. Today's right. puzzle. And it's a tricky one. It's so a we, tough one. we really have to work on this. We hope you join us. And if you know any of the answers, all of you, just feel free to put your guesses in the comments. We'll now, try and get to as many here, of you as possible. Yes, and please forgive us if we skip you. The, the comments section is spinning pretty quickly here. Allison Bohe came up with pause for 12 down. Let's take a look at that one. Hmm. Things at the end of dog's legs. Yep, there's definitely pause say, Put there. that in there. It's got to be right. It's got to be right. Okay, so we're going to uh, keep going. Thank you for that. John M. Battle, welcome back. Uh, says that four down is anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. Four down? Yep. Anyway. Okay. Coming well, right any, let's see if that's correct. Could let's be any who. Well, it could, well, it could be any who. Uh, we've got 20 across a, a narrow margin. Mm. Hmm. I N blank W. I don't know if, if I've ever seen a pattern of letters like that. I've seen I now pronounce you men and what men. Yeah, I know, husband and right. wife. That's, that's one heck of a partial, <laughs> Sam. I don't want to see that in any of your puzzles. I apologize. Uh, that's okay. So anyway... Anyway, anywho, anyway is a very good answer for moving right along. Unfortunately, today in today's puzzle, the answer happens to be anywho. Because Certainly it's sort a of great slimy. guess, though. Yes. That's just a tough one. It is Thursday. Not every one of these is going to be a straight gimme. And not only that, but I, I like anywho. I think it makes the puzzle anywho. a little lively, livelier. I think we gave that a check. I think That's we did. Answer. Let's move on. So uh, Ruth Bone says 65 is Anton. Let's take a look at that. Oh, yes, there absolutely. Playwright Chekhov. That was actually one of my gimmies. There you go. There Different you go. wheelhouses. Thank you, Ruth. Uh, let's see. Daniel Americo says 33 down is Keynes. 33 down. Annuals. Oh, oh so I close. I think he's thinking of the con. Film Festival, Con, yeah. which is two ends, which, actually. Which is actually not an award. It's a place where awards are given. So that's a great guess. But let's let's get a little closer to this clue. Notice that there's a, an accent over the E in cinema. That means that it's actually, this word cinema is a word in French. It's a foreign language clue. So what we want is we want the award that is given out in cinema in France. And the answer to that is actually the César. It's the equivalent to the Oscar exactly. across the pond. Uh, I see that Pooja John Shandani has figured out that 14 across is icon. Okay. So you can go All ahead right, and put, so that let's put that in. I there. would have preferred a more techie clue. <laughs> like uh, yes, a computer I, icon. Absolutely. Although I would say that, you know, more often than not, it is clued that way. Eh, I guess so. It's, it's a nice change of pace. It right. is Thursday. That was certainly tougher. That means that the narrow margin here has to be, I can't see this being anything other than inch. I won't think of a gross partial. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Samana Seif says 34 across is Ray. Let's jump down here. Ah, I like this clue. It's it kind of random, is. but It is. Cute. But you know what? It's fine. I, it, it take, it's sort of different than your average crossword puzzle clue, ah, and I like that. It makes you think. You so know? the answer is indeed Ray, which is the girl's name, and it's a body part in reverse if you look at it E. A R is ear. So that's terrific. Uh, Miranda Jessel got Cesar. Um, Jillian Kirby says that 32 down is Drano, which mm -hmm. indeed has appeared a couple times in recent puzzles. Yep. And I, I never noticed it's got a pipe on its packaging, but that makes perfect sense because that's what you're using for. There you go. That's just where you got to use context. You know, it right. starts with a D, it's five letters, it's got to be Drano. Exactly. Trisha Kellerman Nelson says 31 down is cup of cocoa. Wow, there's just one wow. letter. Oh, my Lord. Place for a marshmallow. Yes, yeah, somebody else said campfire, and that's, that's terrific, but I think we have too many squares for that. Mm -hmm. So it's got to be something different. Cup um, of cocoa, my I goodness, that's that. so tough to parse, too. Not, not only that, but I really do like marshmallows and With, cocoa. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, I overload them. Absolutely. For sure. Tank Steiner's three down is torch pass. Hmm. We, I think we have 
more squares than we need for that. So uh, you're very, very close. They I do pass the torch in this. Donna Hurst Tatsuki has it, though, as does Larry okay. Grubman. They so, think it's the torch relay. And, and your guess is, believe it or not, even if they're not correct or they're not completely correct, it's okay. You definitely want to guess. Uh, and even if you don't guess correctly, that's what the eraser and the backspace key are for. So let's put that in. Torch relay and so torch pass was actually very very close yeah that it was just a good one wasn't uh, the correct answer for this particular puzzle you got to make guesses like that in order to expand your territory in the puzzle not to mention we like hearing from you that's so. right that's right <laughs> and so tank steiner got it uh, torch relay thank you for that uh mary k Ch channel or channel says uh 36 across is oh sure Ah, one of my favorite sayings. Yeah, yeah right. right. Oh, okay. sure. Oh, jinx. Okay. Oh, sure. <laughs> I That's bet. awesome. Okay, <laughs> great. Thank you for that. A lot of you agree with Torch Relay, yes. Jules Cohn, John and Battle, Lubjinka, Brasnarska. Wow. Um, Aaron Ritz wonders if 58 across is horn. Let's take a look. Honker. Honker. Wow. Yeah, that's a good guess. That's a very good guess. Um, I actually thought that I had a couple of guesses on this before I got it because let's think of some other things honker could mean. You can honk a horn. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll hit the um, cough button next thank time. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that's a that's that's sort of a uh, an omen of things to come. Yep. Um the uh you can have honker can also be slang for nose. And hey, that I, because fits. Well, <laughs> here's the thing, though. I Before I had cup of cocoa, I put in beak, B-E-A-K, ah. because beak is also slang. And I thought because the honker clue was slang that the answer needed to be slang. Today, it's just simply nose. Okay. So uh, Donna Hurst Tatsuki says 47 across is pitch in for 47. Oh, wow. Hmm. Recommend as an applicant. applicant. That's close it's i don't close. know if that quite I, works i don't know if pitching in is more like helping somebody out i'm not sure if this is you i'm not sure if you're hitting it quite squarely but you're getting there and we're going to we're going to reveal that as we solve more of the puzzle see this is interesting deb i'm seeing some solvers at 27 down are guessing dryly and some are guessing riley oh that's interesting what is the clue there the clue is how some jokes are delivered so they both work. Uh, yeah, they That's both crazy. work. All right, yeah, it's got to be only one, though, right? I don't so. got it. I don't have anything yet. Let's come back to that. Yeah. Somebody said uh, Namaste from Nepal. Thank you very Ooh, much welcome. for that. Thanks welcome. Thanks for joining us. A lot of people are guessing cut for sixty. I believe it's sixty-two down. The word you is, learn when you're playing Scrabble. Right. It's a big Scrabble word, and boy, did I spell this wrong the first time around. <laughs> I spelled it K A T. The well, that's first time. actually another spelling of the I'm same sure thing. I'm sure it is, but in today. Today's puzzle, it's Q-A-T, and a lot of people are surprised when they see that because in English, at least, they're used to seeing a U after the Q. <laughs> it's a ridiculous so, looking word. But it is. Some, it is they are the cot, the cot plant or leaves that are chewed and uh, act as a stimulant. There you go. In both uh, the Middle East and Africa. I see Allison Laidlaw is using um, your guess of nose, Deb, ah. to get skim at 59 down. I, I, Take the top good. off. Take the top off. Absolutely. To skim. Absolutely. Thank you for that. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this out the corner. Literary heroine who says, even for me, life had its gleams of sunshine. My God, that is such a downer. <laughs> wow. Uh, but I do know who it was. It was one of my favorite books, actually. It was Jane Eyre. It's got to be Jane Eyre. Absolutely. Real downer. Real downer. <laughs> Poor Jane. Okay. Like goo um, is icky. It's got to be icky. What else? Anybody else in this corner? <laughs> Anton Ritchie says that he made the puzzle at 65 across. Uh, let's check this. Anton, welcome. Yes, <laughs> there you are. You're right there in the puzzle. Good I'm, for you. I'm guilty of putting Sam in a puzzle. <laughs> yes, you're, you're famous now. A lot of people are also uh, saying that 52 across is tick. Let's Wanda Davis, Ken Brown, John in battle. Yes, a tick might be nervous. One might be nervous. Yeah. It's not a person of any <laughs> no, means. It's no, your nervous no. tick. Interesting. I wonder if we can get this one here. Attacks. Attacks. That one, uh, that's always one of those uh, phrases that's a little awkward. I'm not sure too many people actually say it. But you'll see it in the crossword. Has at. 
I okay. prefer have at to set at. at yeah, least, you know? absolutely. <laughs> uh, okay. John in battle and Susan Whites both think that 66 across is noir. Noir, okay. Gritty, Gritty genre, genre. Oh. absolutely. You need your fedora and your, your uh, trench coat for, for that. Uh, 69, up for or down for? That's I liked a, I this like that one. Clue. Did you write that clue? No, that was actually an original. Wow, that's very good. And if you do it, you're, I'm game for that. <laughs> I endorsed it, though. Okay. Very much like so that So we have here entertaining in a way. Wow, I don't know what that one is. A lot of people are agreeing on game and noir. Susan White says 68 across is teens. Awkward period often. Oh, I could talk about that. Okay, yes, the teens are often an awkward mm -hmm. period. Many teens people. are saying awkward all the time. Too. Yes, awkward. that too. Awkward. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Hello, Maria people. Costa. Yes. Waving back right at Hi, you. Hi, Maria. And a lot of people are agreeing on uh, noir. Let's see what else do we have. Brody Staniforth says 56 across is cottaging. Uh, cottaging, 56. Well, we have... Take a header. Well, no, I don't, I don't think so. Clue, Must sure. be a different clue. Polyester says hi. Hi, Polly. Good to see you. Would love to see you at ACPT Come back again. to Stanford. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I just wanted everybody to know that the weekend of March 23rd through 25th this year is the American Crossword Puzzle Tournament. And that is um, the sort of, I guess, the Woodstock of Crossword Puzzle Tournaments <laughs> where everybody gets together to uh, nerd out and do crossword puzzles. And it's a lot of fun. Um, I'll be there. Sam will be there. You can well, come don't and tell meet them all that. No. Well, that's okay. We're going <laughs> to be Shorts hiding. Will be there, though. Yes, and Will Shorts will be there, and we you can come and meet all of your favorite uh, puzzle makers. Yeah, they'll be there. Yep. Come, come join us. We'd love to see you. Absolutely. Fiona McGruther says fifty seven, and Susan White says, and Wanda Dave. Wow, everybody. <laughs> William everybody Lee is yelling pens at us. Okay, writes. Yes, if ah, you write something, there we go. You can it's used it. as a Thank verb. You. Interesting. And let's see. Take a header. Hmm, I don't know. Tank Steiner's got it. He says it's trip. Oh, excellent. Thank you, Tank. <laughs> there we go. Interesting. Okay. Uh, a lot of people else? agree on pens. Ooh, yep. Susan Higgins. I will not say it out loud, but yep, you sort gonna... of have an idea of what's Le going on right. in this puzzle. Exactly. Good for you. <laughs> Just Lamont, wanted to give you a shout out. Lamont McKinnon says 40 down is gridiron. Ooh, that's a nice long one. Where a bowl is set. Ah. Good for you, Lamont. That nope. is awesome. That was a very tricky clue. That was Will's. <laughs> right. And we're not talking about we're not talking about the kind of bowl you would set on a table. We're talking mm -hmm. about a bowl where football players are playing. So good for you on that. You didn't yeah. fall you didn't fall uh, prey to Will Shorts' cooing <laughs> evil. Here's uh, a new one. Carrie Thompson. Um hello, Carrie says that sixty seven across in the bottom left is sky. S K Y E. Okay. Kind of That's terrier. Absolutely. There you go. I know my terriers, and Sky is definitely <laughs> it. Um, a lot of people are saying Samana Sif and Lubinka Bresnarka say 44 down is iterate. Oh, you know what? It does look Looks like Looks like it, certainly. Okay. Repeat for emphasis. Oh, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. E -E -E. And right next to it, um, Christine Papazoglu believes that 48 down is untuned. 48 down. Okay, disharmonize. I could, you know what? That's as good as anything. Sure, why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> now, here we have an interesting thing. We've got recommend as an applicant. And it's put something, I don't know. Something for. Something for. Um, you know, I've heard the phrase put in a word for. I've heard that too, but it doesn't, it doesn't really, doesn't really it doesn't really fit. It doesn't fit. So you know what? Let's come back to it. Maybe maybe I'm crazy. Look at a 61 across there, Deb. 61. It looks like it wants to be something square. Huh. Oh, and that's a revealer letter. altogether. Oh, okay. Oh, no. This is our revealer. This is the, the uh, entry that ties together all of the other theme entries and gives us a hint as to what we're doing in this puzzle. And the clue is classic letter puzzle, or when parsed differently, a hint to three down answers in this puzzle. Huh. Now, since you said square, I can tell you I know what this is because I've researched <laughs> it, I've written about it, You've I know done this. Enough I've done enough No, I've done enough of these word squares. That's, oh. that's what I know. Wow, so you know the revealer so altogether. I do know the revealer. And now, here's the thing. We have word square. But it also, the clue also says when parsed differently. 
a hint to three down answers in this puzzle. So I don't know what that means yet. Let's come back. We'll come to back it. to it. Okay. That's weird. I see a lot of people guessed owns for 53 down, Deb. 53 down. Let's see. Has control over. I, you know what? That makes sense to Michael me. Michael Dendis was one of them. Okay. And how about T-Shot Goof? I didn't know this one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, do you play golf, Sam? Oh, no. Okay. I'm, I'm terrible. I, I wish. I you wish. said that with so much confidence. <laughs> <laughs> but it happens very, to be a hook. Very sadly. Yeah. Okay, if you hook your shot. <laughs> uh, my, Mitchell Hare, Edward David are both saying the 50 across is opened, so was on first. Yes, if it's you are on... It's not Abbott and Costello. It's not Abbott and Costello, but it is the person who is on stage first, which is opened, or the uh, show that's on first. Um, this one drove a lot of people crazy because it's Latin and nobody knew it. But yeah. it does make sense if you think about it a lot. A foot in Latin, and it's an abbreviation, okay, because Latin is shortened, is P-E-S. And it makes sense because mm -hmm. if you think of that the prefix for anything having to do with a foot is ped, P-E-D. Mm, yeah, or just ped the suffix, like right. millipede. Right, exactly. I think so, pes planes, if I'm pronouncing it right, is actually the medical term for flat foot. Wow. So fun, fun that's fact. the cluing angle I wanted originally. <laughs> and where many people make connections, and I know this I know this airport almost in my sleep is O'Hare. Whoops, sorry about that. That's one tough clue too, my gosh. Well, no question mark. I, I had the O, the H, and the E, and I just it just came to me. You and knew it wasn't an exclamation happen. like OG. Yeah. <laughs> um Dale Webdale is sort of putting together what the theme of the puzzle is. Shh, we're gonna we're not gonna say we're not gonna say it quite out loud yet. Mm -hmm. But oh, yeah, sorry. I'm sorry, Michael Dendis is sixty four across is not I. And that's great because we'll finish this corner. Don't look at me, right? Uh, not I that gives us go. the crosser that Ryan Hoey had suggested, which is Artie. If there you go. Down, Very he, good. What's forty three down there? Oh, let's it last ditch. Um, I would say that's... That Ooh, Bill like Ruddick a, figured it out, actually. Awesome. Good for you, Bill. What's a door die? A door die. I think it's probably a, a dice embedded in a, a die, you know, uh, like the kind of die you throw embedded in a door. What do you think? Well, for those that aren't complete idiots like me, it's do or die. I'm <laughs> okay. sure they figured it out by now. Right. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> it's very hard to parse these when they're all one right after another. Uh, let's see. Susan Weitz agrees on Artie. Elisabetta Panelli and John M. Battle agree on um, Artie. Lucia Cascol agrees on O'Hare. Wow, Megan Theriault and Kerry Thompson, Samana C Oh, my God, look at all you people. You guys are crushing it. Nishi Maladri, you guys are so good at this. This is look interesting, this. though, Deb. I agree on Artie. I see that Donna Hurst Satsuki says that 49 down is dining, while mm -hmm. Christine Papazoglu says that it's whining with a W. Huh. Entertain you know what? It could be both. Both work. They do both work. That's so weird. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on here. You know, sometimes Come these puzzles are so hard to figure out. Didn't we okay. have that occur elsewhere? Just in the back of my mind. I don't know. Okay. Uh, Bruce Biang says 46 across is yo-yo. Uh, I love this clue this, this way. Is great Can I just say? Dum dum. Yes, yo-yo. The -yo. total yo-yo. Okay. <laughs> um, what, what is this? Bring about? Don't have enough for that yet. John and Battle does. Oh, really? <laughs> of course he does. He Come says on, it's lead to. Oh, bring about. Well, okay, let's let's put that in. Lead to. Good job. Thank Way you, to John. Parse that. That's tough. Okay, a lot of people are getting the do or die, and uh, there's a bit of a lag here on uh, Facebook Live, so we're, some of the stuff we've already put in, but we will uh, stay with you. Robin McGee says the 38 across is YSL, and that's a very good guess. Haute Couture Inits. Now, Inits is an abbreviation for initials, and we know that if there's an abbreviation in the clue, there has to the answer has to be an abbreviation. And generally, it's going to be Yves Saint Laurent, especially because we had that L at the end. It was YSL bags. That's I've right. seen that initialism elsewhere, so it doesn't feel cheap. Exactly. <laughs> it's actually on um, the bags. So, oh, look at this. Evening stroll. Here's a great vocabulary word. Mm. I didn't know this, although I think it's a dance term, too. I think it's derived from Spanish, actually. If I recall, oh, yeah. I think a paseo is a walk. Okay. Something yep. like that. Let's put that might in. Be paseo. Up. Good. Okay. Uh, Kevin Jouse is 47, is put in as for. Let's take a look. 
put in. It looks like put in. I'll give yeah, you that. Uh, I don't know what signing is, though. The problem is, yeah, if we put an S in there, let's just drop that in there. Signing is not really a word, and it has nothing to do with entertaining in a way, unless, I mean, I haven't entertained <laughs> in a while, but, you know, there could be a new if thing. If you entertain with trigonometry. Exactly. But I don't know how many find that yeah. entertaining. Besides. So that's a really good guess, and I, I don't want to ex discourage you from yeah. guessing. Um, I, it just, we're just showing you why it doesn't work. <laughs> but let's tough. let's keep on going. So a lot of people are saying dryly and rightly. And let's take a look at it. Okay. <laughs> so tough. how some jokes are delivered. We haven't gotten there yet. Jeez. It looks like it could be either one. Too. It could like, be. But you know what? I think what we need to do is we need to break up how we're reading these things. Let's see. Uh, you know what? I'm sure we can go on. A lot of people are agreeing with Paseo. Trisha Kellerman Nelson says 40 across is GPA. School yardstick for short. That is very good. That's has nothing awesome. to do with uh, yeah, that's, your ruler in class. It, exactly, which is where I thought it was going. Huh. Um, and Some let's classic see Thursday this. mystery. Pay a visit is to, you can you have the perennial drop in. I right? actually had stop in at first, but I'm Did glad you? you dispelled that. You know what? You could stop in too. I, I mean, stop in is just as good. Let's see what we've got here. Potato heart. Well, Melissa aid. Seedorf has that one. She says ah. it's hoe. Exactly. Now, as a gardener, I'm just going to let you guys know that a hoe is probably the worst thing you want to use in <laughs> harvesting potatoes because if you accidentally stab them with the prongs of the hoe, you will infect them and you have to throw them away. So the best way to harvest potatoes is actually with your hands. Well, clearly myself, Will Shorts, Tim Pollan, and Joel Faliano do not have green thumbs. You city slickers you don't would know. know that. Yeah, so, <laughs> uh, but that's okay. Ho is, ho is a legitimate potato harvesting aid. It's just probably not the best idea. All right, 24 down, show of brilliance. I love this word. I, this word is so beautiful to <laughs> me. Me too. Some people think it's crossword ease too, but I love it. Nope, I think it's I wouldn't very say it is. A clap. Yeah, it's a very nice. It's adopted it from, from French. It's and a I nice vocab. It. How about this one? 39, a shape on a suspension bridge. Well, we have AR blank. That's got to be It's got to be arc. Yep, absolutely. All right, so let's go back to some of our viewers. Ooh, interesting. We're still... Connie, Dart, Corey, and Brian Atkinson are kind of figuring out 27. Ah, uh, it's starting to take shape. Samuel <laughs> Beard got, gets us dropping. Thank you. Jake Price is on the right track as well. The same okay. with Victor J. Heinz. This is interesting. Okay, all right. You know what? Brian Atkinson uh, gives us word. Let's put in. Let's. It could be word. Riley. It could be dryly. Let's put this in. W processor. So like a word processor. I guess. Is this like some sort of weird? But like, why would why would it be W processor? I don't understand that. Is we it like a word? I think, I think we need I think we need a few more things in here. Yeah. Okay. I'm still confused. Um, here, let's let's try to figure this one out. This could be whining. All right. Let's put a W in there too. Put also, in a W for. What does that mean? I also like. I don't want to. Yeah. I think a lot of solvers are on the right track, and I don't want to blow things open. But it is kind of interesting how, with both of these answers, Riley and whining, or dryly and dining, it's both a W yeah. or a D that works. And W. Matthew Davis, who has the first initial W and the last initial D, <laughs> is <laughs> coincidentally way is, is way ahead of us. And we're going to get there, Matthew. You're just going to have to be a little bit patient because we want everybody to to solve this together. W. Pro everybody's getting W. <laughs> processor Here, now. Susan White says, says that 13 down is else. Okay, let's take a let's break see. from this confusion. Exactly. Otherwise, it's else. It's got to be else. Absolutely. Okay, so we've got, oh, look at mm. this now. We've got 18, bring it on or let's lump rumble. Let's lumble. Let's lumble. Um, it's a, definitely a plural because we've got that S there. Hmm. Okay. Some solvers so. are just guessing that Larry Grubman guesses that the W just might stand for word, hmm. like word processor. It does word stand. It, it might be the W or words, Melissa Seedorf <laughs> says. Um, Christopher Soper says seven down is regress. Let's see. Backslide. Backslide. Yep, absolutely. I like both those words. Me too. What's six down right next to it too? Huh. It looks like. Period when mammals first appeared. I think I thought I saw somebody say uh, Triassic. It's so interesting because Jurassic has that pattern too, it but does. the J but doesn't work as yeah, well. Yeah, to spread around, you would not see an English word that, that uh, had the pattern S-J-R here. So I'm going to say that Triassic is probably right. It's a, Jurassic is a great guess. Hey, check this out. 
uh, Tank Steiner and Jorge Santos say that 18 across is fighting words huh. or fighting W's. Oh, that kind of follows the Bring pattern. it on or let's rumble. It does. Okay, let's put that in. Fighting W's. So, so far we've got the W's there and, you know, it's it's pretty consistent throughout the puzzle. I don't understand what it has to do with word square, though. Nope. But you know what? I think some of some of our viewers do, and we're going to get there. Ten down is Marissa F H says is fedoras. Huh. I have that end though. Yeah, interesting. Hmm. Wide brimmed hats. Fedoras are wide brimmed hats, and uh, it, I think it would fit. Unfortunately, not in today's puzzle though. So let's see if we can get uh, Jorge and Santos White. has that crosser actually that you're on. He uh, says that it's Pope. Dave. I I was just getting there. The leader in white. <laughs> He's ahead of us. Padre, absolutely. Sixteen across uh, the blank caricum in is the Asian <sighs> desert. Tough one, tough one, but. <laughs> As always, it's Errol. <laughs> As opposed to the Errol C, I think that's a completely right. fresh clue for Errol. You know what? That's terrific. I really can appreciate like a fresh that. clue. Um, so <laughs> it makes it tougher. We've got an abbreviation here. Associations is orgs. Okay. And this was a tough one. Spinny billiard shot. I don't play billiards, so I didn't know this one, but I got it from the crossings. Denise Nilsson plays billiards, though, because <laughs> she says that it's a masse shot, I believe. Awesome. Accent on the Very e. good. And uh, Jim Collier is telling us a joke. This W walks into a bar. <laughs> 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 Thank you for that, Jim. Uh, Christina Nadia says eight down is exalt. Mm. Mm. You know what? That's very close. I'm it not, works for the clue. It, it but... does. I'm not very... Well, it does accept that we get down to the here yeah. and we have an O at the end. Treat as a saint. I'm not crazy about this word, but you are going to see it in crossword puzzles, so it's worth knowing, uh, is actually an halo. It's meant to be taken a lot more literally than you may have I, expected. I guess so, yes. Treat <laughs> as a saint. Now, here, this has got to be seldom, right, because of the pattern mm -hmm. of the letters. What else would it be? What does it cross? IMO and Panamas? Yeah, huh. they both look right. I think so. Panama hats. Yeah, Panama there you go. Hats. Fedora's so you go. was IMO a trap. Is is a texter's qualifier, in my opinion. And we're about to finish this puzzle, but stay with us because we have not finished the I puzzle. I was going to say. We don't have the theme yet. We're going to finish the puzzle. We're going to open it back up, so stay tuned. So we've got five across is spread around. That's got to be strewed. And we've got Castle with Famous <laughs> Depths, man. This That's is my favorite clue in the puzzle. That's tough. So you know what? I'm going to click into this this crosser here, monsoon-like. If something is monsoon-like, it's definitely it's wet. wet. It's wet season. And look at us. We crushed it, but have we? Have Whoa. we really? What? what? <laughs> Whoa! What happened there? <laughs> okay. Here's the thing, you guys. Remember that revealer we talked about? Brace at, yourselves. At 61 down, the classic letter puzzle, or when parsed differently, that's the key to this whole puzzle, is a hint to three down answers in this puzzle. Now, we have the word square. But if you look at this differently, if you look at the word word differently, the answer is W or D square. Oh, and word. what happens is word, right? These are fighting words, but the things at the end of dog's legs could be Gosh. pause. So we were right about pause, but or, we kinda, wait, there's more to wait it. Wait for this. <laughs> it could be pads, right? Those little fluff, so cushy things at the, under their paws. Word in one direction and W or D. Right. In the other direction. Now, I just want to say that this is a really delicious combination of what we call a rebus puzzle, where you squeeze more than one letter into a square, and what we also call a Schrodinger puzzle, the, the uh, like Schrodinger's cat. It's a bit insiderish. It's a bit insiderish. We also call them quantum crosswords, where the same, uh, more than one letter can go in that square and work equally well. Okay, so we've got, uh, so uh, Jose de Silva Nascimento gets it. Ah, yes. And John M. Battle says, oh, tricky. And Wendell and Johnson says, clever AF. Yes. I, I agree. And Abhinav Dar says, wow, that's really beautiful. <laughs> and, and so we've got fighting words and paws and pads. I knew we there was a reason why both. Riley Dryly and Whining yeah. and Dining use W exactly. or D because it is w, it's w or D. W or D. Word processor going across. It's word going across Let's and see. it's W or D going down. 
So put this is put in a word for, which is how you would recommend an applicant. Uh, John in Battle says, now I'm going to have to look for puzzles like this. You know what, <laughs> John, it's funny you say that. One of the most famous New York Times Schrodinger puzzles or quantum puzzles we ran was a 1996 puzzle. I believe it was November 5th or 6th. It was on election day. Yeah, what That's was his key. name? It Fa was a Farrell? Jeremiah Farrell. Farrell. And I won't give it away, but let's just say that we got in a lot of trouble for uh, deigning to predict the outcome of the United States presidential election. It's a lot of fun, and you should definitely uh, try it. Catherine Beckman says, love this live event so much more fun than giving up on the puzzle. <laughs> Catherine, I love you. You know, Amen you can, to that. You can always join us on Wordplay, which is the crossword column of the New York Times. We publish every Every day and for every puzzle, uh, there is a column that gives you hints and tips and tricks for how to solve and a huge community of people who are like-minded and will help. Uh, you can put down your feelings about the puzzle, what you like, what you didn't like. Um, the uh, Seman Asif says this was great fun. Uh, yes, it is the same, same time each time week. Same time every week. One o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time on Thursdays. We're here. And I really hope you enjoyed it. Sam, do you have anything else you want to say about this puzzle? I don't know. This was a re I really enjoyed this Thursday. This was one of my favorites in a while. And we consistently have pretty good Thursdays, too. So Absolutely. I like, I love, I a love real my aha tricky, moment. I love my tricky Thursdays. Timothy Pollan really does know how to make a Cracker Jack Thursday puzzle, which is why almost half of his constructions have been Thursdays in the Times. Absolutely. And Nishi Malotra says they're doing the puzzle before they go to bed in Delhi. Good for well, you. I've got a few oh, hours of work left today, but we yes, love it. We, we do. We do. But... <laughs> <laughs> you have you have good dreams and sleep well. Uh, let's see. Uh, before you all leave, is there a way to the whole puzzle? To see at the same a whole time? puzzle at the same time. I'm I guessing. I don't know, including the clues. Uh, is is there some reason you can't see it, Mary Kay? I'm not really sure. Uh, Carolyn Kulak is. I'm glad you learned a new word. I learned that word today too, Marseille. <laughs> and. Uh, uh, Jillian Kirby thanks us. I, thank you all. I'm thank so you. Glad. Th this was a particularly fun one to do. Lots of aha moments all around. And uh, we look forward to seeing many of you and more back next Thursday at 1 p.m. Absolutely. We will be here every week. Absolutely. This is Deb Amlin and Sam Mazursky for the New York Times. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week. Have a good one, everybody.